Hello everyone, welcome back to the channel. This is Sanjay Parashar and today we will be talking about JMS topic How we can publish JMS uh, publish a message to JMS topic and how we can subscribe or consume that message using JMS adapter in Oracle SOA and this is the fourth and probably the last uh, Session on JMS So we have prior to this we have completed three sessions on JMS in first we checked how we can do web logic configurations for JMS in SOA in second we tried and published a message to JMS queue using JMS adapter and in third and the previous session we consumed that message and we also tried to create multiple consumers of one queue and we came to know that you know only one consumer can consume the message from a queue so queue is one to one and in this session we will try to publish the message and subscribe the message we will also try to create multiple subscribers to one topic and we will get to know that it's a one to many uh, message processing in topic so many subscribers can consume from one topic it just they need to be actively listening to the topic so if you have not seen the previous three tutorials i'm going to mention their links in the description box please go check them out and by the end of this video also uh, i'm going to mention the playlist of the entire oracle soa and also the previous uh, session that we created on jms so let's start so first of all in in first session of jms series we created the web logic configuration for jms queue and we have not created the outbound connection pool JNDI for JMS topic. So that's what we will need to do today. So under the deployments, we'll go to JMS adapter and in JMS adapter, we'll go to configurations, then outbound connection pools and here we'll create a new JNDI. I will click on next like this. Then we'll need to give a JNDI name. So this was the JNDI name that we created for Q. Let's give the JNDI name for topic. Let's just mention here as topic. We're gonna save it for later use so that we don't have to go back and forth to WebLogic to figure out what JNDI or what connection factory we created at first place. So I'm going to click on finish now. And now let's locate that JNDI here as we need to make some amendment in the properties. Here it is. And in here, first we'll need to update the connection factory location. So if you have seen the previous tutorials, you would know that we first created a uh, JMS module and on top of it we created a connection factory so I have that handy here this is the connection factory that we created and is topic should be true now so now this JNDI belongs to the topic and I'm gonna click on save and now we will need to update the JMS adapter under deployments to make these changes available uh, throughout the server. And this video might be a little longer than the others because I'm planning to complete this series with this tutorial only. So please keep up and we will try to publish the message to the topic, then consume the message, then we will try to create multiple consumers of the one topic and we'll test it accordingly so this video might be a bit longer than the other videos so after you successfully update it it will say that all changes has been activated no restarts are required there are certain things when you update it restart of the server might be requiring to check that you can just check here if you need uh, under the restart checklist you can check if you if your server needs to restart for any sort of change that you have made within the server or not that is just an additional information that i shared with you guys 
So now we will need to develop a code to publish message to that particular topic. So now, so this is a service that we created in our previous tutorial and so this this service is basically just publishing the message to the queue so let's use this service only to publish the same message to the topic as well here we will need to create another JMS adapter and we created this service on the second tutorial of the JMS series so again I highly recommend you guys to check that if you have not seen that already so under this JMS You guys know all this already because we have seen previous videos. So I'm going to just quickly complete this. Under the destination name, you will need to give the topic JNDI that we created as on the first tutorial of this JMS series. This was the topic that we created and under the JNDI we will give the JNDI name that we have recently created. I think this was the one. No. So here we go. That's why it is important for you to copy the name of artifacts. Definitely comes in handy. Under the URL we will give the schema which is there in the project. We'll click on finish. Let's wire it. The moment it, we wire it, its partner link will be available in Beeple. So at the moment in Beeple, we are assigning whatever input we get from user and we are publishing it to the queue. And let's publish the same to the topic as well. So for that, we will invoke JMS. And on this top assign itself, we can assign it to the topic as well. And in the output, we are sending that message published to queue. We can just modify it to make it as queue and topic. So this service will be publishing message to queue and topic. And now as for queue, we have the consumer service one and two. Let's create a consumer service for message for this topic as well. So let's quickly create one consumer service for the topic. I'm giving it name as service one because once we see that, you know, we are successfully able to publish the message and consume it, we want to create another consumer and see if both the consumers are able to get the message or not. So process will be fairly similar to like what we did with Q consumer. It just in the, under the exposed services, we will need to use JMS adapter. Here we will give the topic name, topic JNDI like this. And here we'll give the outbound connection pool JNDI. Here we'll need to give the schema which we used to 
publish the message or an identical schema I have not copy and pasted it as of now so what I can do is either I can copy and paste it by going into the back end or I can use this uh, project explorer and I can just go to the file system here into this So it's totally up to you if you wish to go like that or you want to copy and paste it manually by going to the backend directory. Let's click on finish. And now we will be creating a Beeple. Give it a meaningful name at the moment. I'm not going to waste time in doing that because we have a lot of things to do. And here we will create a receive activity here, which will get the input from topic. So if I summarize, then the JMS adapter will basically fetch the message from the topic. And now we want to store that message to a variable using the receive activity. We'll click on this create instance as this is the first activity of our entire flow. So this needs to be created. This needs to be checked. And after it, it's absolutely up to you what you want to do with this payload. Depends on the business logic. You can save it to a database adapter or create a file out of it or do certain modifications is absolutely your call as per your business logic for time being i'm just gonna terminate this transaction or terminate this, this flow here and now i will need to deploy this service and then we will test if we're able to successfully publish the message to the topic and consume it or not so i am going to deploy it now So as you can see, this service is deployed now. So now our topic consumer service one is deployed and we also need to deploy a message publish service so that all the changes that we have done in this service to incorporate uh, the publishing into the topic that so that that can also reflect into the enterprise manager. Let's deploy that one as well. So deployment is completed. Now we'll need to go and log into the enterprise manager and test our entire setup. So this is enterprise manager and this is the folder or in previous versions we used to call it partition. So IG JMS demos here we have all the services. To test this topic consumer service we will need to publish the message using the message publish service and this service will also publish message to the queue and one of the consumers will receive that message from the queue and this topic consumer will receive the message from the topic. So let's quickly test it and see if it is working as expected or not. So to test it, we'll just need to click on test here. Let's give it a value. Click on test and as we can see message published to queue and topic that means the changes that we did has been incorporated and been deployed to this server. So let's check the flow trace now. And as a matter of fact as I was telling you guys that it successfully first published the message to the queue as you can see the adapter name and then the first service consumed that message and then it published the message to the topic and similarly the topic consumer service one consumed that message. So now 
other thing that I want to do within this tutorial only let me create another topic consumer service and we will try and see that if both them both of them will receive that message or not so let me just quickly develop a service as you guys as you guys are already familiar with how we can create that service so I will not waste your time and I will fast forward the entire development process of this second consumer service so friends I have created a replica of the service and I have also deployed it as you can see topic consumer service 2 dot jar has been deployed to this partition IGJMS demos so now let's test it into in enterprise manager and let's see if it is working as expected or not so as you can see under the uh, under this partition we have two topic consumers and two queue consumers and now let's test this message publish service it will publish a message to queue and topic and let's see so it says message published to queue and topic now let's check the flow and here we go as expected it first published the message to the queue two consumers were listening to that particular queue but one received it which was the two this time previously it was one so whosoever is available and faster will consume the message and topic as we can see that one and two both consumers they both were active listening to the topic and they both received that message however if any one of them was in shutdown state or was not active at that time the subscribers or the consumers who are active will receive the message and it will be deleted so there will not be the message will not be saved for the subscriber who is not actively listening however again there are certain concepts that can be used in order to take care of the situations like durable subscriber and all but again that's a different topic an advanced topic altogether to take care of that and if we check that we will see in the input it says I know JMS now so this concludes our JMS series guys and I hope you loved it because JMS is a very very important concept of SOA I mean in most of the projects that I have worked on JMS played a vital role and we have learned how to create the configurations in weblogic how to publish and consume messages from Q and topic and how Q and topic behaves differently in different situations. So thank you so much for your time guys and I really appreciate your support. Take good care of yourselves and have a nice rest of the day. Take care. Bye bye.